The Utah Symphony asked me to write a piece that was in some way inspired by the landscapes in this state. Music, I always think, can't really be about anything. Um, but what I tried to do was sort of marinate myself in all the different available landscapes and see what I could tease out from it. What I learned was that in a lot of, in a lot of cases, the, the more untouched something seemed, the wilder it seemed, um, the more you, you realize that there's a lot of sort of human handprints and footprints on those places. Asking Nico Muley to be part of our Three American Composers project was absolutely a no-brainer. Nico is a big figure on the East Coast. He's, he's a very prominent composer today. When I developed the vision of, of having three American composers, I really wanted to have three different American composers. And Nico represented for me the extravaganza. Everything is fast with Nico. He has many ideas at the same time, but he manages to put them with a relative calm in his music. So the difference between his personality and what he writes was actually stunning, and I was very much attracted to this. In Control, one of the things that I, I obsessed over was Separating out the orchestra by range, you have sort of higher instruments all working together, lower instruments, middle, middle range instruments, and they're all sometimes playing the same material at different speeds. And the idea of that is that in the same way that in a landscape you'll have objects that are close, objects that are far, and they can be similar objects, but it's the, it's the perception of depth that creates um, what feels like m movement in what could be also like a, a static image. So if you look at mountains, you have the quick information in the foreground and just completely steady information in the background. Nico Muley's case, I think he's been very influenced by the state of Utah. So I was born in central Vermont, um, about five or six miles from where Joseph Smith was born. And one of the most interesting things about spending a lot of time out here is when you realize that the American expansion west is completely tied in with Mormonism and with Joseph Smith's kind of vision of setting up a, a sort of sense of Zion. What's very moving to me is driving around here, the names of places are incredibly religiously charged and, and the names of towns come from scripture and the names of mountains and the names of parks and all these things and you get the sense that the landscape it's, itself is very emotionally charged. <laughs> 